Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Florida State Seminoles and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Tonight, we've got an intriguing matchup at the point guard position. Number five makes it clear who's the leader out there. His counterpart tonight is also a guy that likes to lead by example for his team. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. The Tar Heels should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, don't give any open looks at the arc. Find the three-point shooters, baby. Second of all, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. And lastly, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Inside, Welch receives the ball. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Looking for a good shot on the outside. He looks for the bomb. Got it. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Look at that spacing. Bed the low block. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with his deck. Where's he going? He'll regroup the offense. Inside. Boy, terrible execution on offense. And up and got it from three. the ball goes out of play. Lewis is feeling good. Hey, can you blame him, Red? He's getting it done. High post flashes for the opportunity. He fouled him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The center handles the feed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He takes the three, sinks it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He goes for three. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. Trying to pack it inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. The shooting guard handles the pass. Looking for the foul. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Wall receives the pass from left of the circle. He hits it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, 
that spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. Goes up for two. Tickles a twine. Moving it around the perimeter. Launches the three. Makes it. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Picked out of the air. Here they come now on a turnover. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He shoots from the top of the circle. Florida State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. On the dribble, gives it up. the perimeter. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Hey, did you see what the mascot was doing after the last dunk? Was he excited or what? He was jumping all over the place. Gave it up. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Up and inside. He shoots from right of the circle. Nails the fadeaway. They move it into the front court. They've left him completely alone. He shoots from the top of the key. That's good. On the dribble, gives it up. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Number 22 takes it away. He hammers it home. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Up and inside. Controlling the ball. He puts it in with contact and all. For two, North Carolina are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. The skip pass is picked off. Gave it up. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory, like a sixth man. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Let's slow this one down on a replay. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? the dribble gives it up picks off the lazy pass ball was tipped loose but the offense retains possession work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart comes up short picks off the pass goes up for two Gets it to fall. Four, 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of play. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of it. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Had a momentary look from three-point land. They work it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. In and out. The center has gone wild. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. Stolen away. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Picked off. The Tar Heels, according to the ESPN polls, among the top teams in the country. I'm certain that their opponents will be all over them in this game. That's the place you pay for being at the top, Rob. turnover now they work it around the perimeter here he comes defensively on him on the low block Dick. I'll tell you three quarter position trying to deny but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball they work the perimeter there's the trap stolen away they've got a three point shooter spotting up That's been moved, not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. He up fakes. Double team now, bad angle. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Oh, scores it, and he's fouled. So an one opportunity here. He'll go to the line. He sinks it. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the difference in scoring jumps out at me. It's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of his shot opportunities, and he's making the most of it. All right, thanks, Aaron. Here's a double team. Takes the shot. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. He shoots from downtown. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. 
Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Good job defensively. And again, they look to run. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? The Tar Heels are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He gets it to go. That's an 8 nothing run. Oh, my. The screener is leveled by the defender on that pick. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. Dump it inside. High post screen. He gets the rejection. The ball goes out of bounds. Things are going well. It's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy in the way. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. With a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from left of the circle. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Looking for a good shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Running right into the screen again. What did I say? He hits the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. <laughs> Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Got a nice screen. North Carolina have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Goes up for two. And he missed. High post screen. So effective, that screen. And off the mark. He makes the shot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes in. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. Dick, he's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. They let him get into a rhythm. <laughs> On the outside. Tries to get the D to bite. Has a nice look at the basket. Top of the circle. He gets the shot to fall. They'll work it around the arc. 
He intercepts it. The Tar Heels will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Takes away the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He goes with a baby hook. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Entry pass in the paint. He makes a nice shot fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. For two, perfectly executed. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. On the dribble, gives it up. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Sets a screen for his teammate. Ten on the shot clock. And the ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. A strip of the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. From the top of the key. Way off target. Opportunity for two for one. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Jumps in. Gets it to go. There's a double team waiting there. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Gave it up. Taken away. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Too strong. At halftime, the Seminoles are up by one. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? There was some nice inside play in the first half. We'll have to see which team continues to pound the ball inside in the second half. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. North Carolina is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Dick, two great players now heading into the second half. We watched them through the first half, and they played it pretty dead even. We'll see what happens here in the second half. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting them the ball at the right time. 
And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. And now they'll bring it up. Number 22 grabs it. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. I think they're trying to make a statement. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. You get balled like I am. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He gets the bucket to fall. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Bombs from outside. The shot won't fall. The crowd really admires this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. Move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Nice high post screen. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores it off the glass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Great shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind, or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. High post flashes for the ball handler. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Puts up the tray. The Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Well, that's basic. Double team now, bad angle. He attempts the trifecta. Accepted. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Outside jumper. Can't get it to go. He goes with a jump hook. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. the perimeter he tries to knock down the three the Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball they need to keep feeding him the ball it's simple they work it around the perimeter look at these fans they're loving it the ruckus fans are going nuts they're going bananas Brad he 
takes it away. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little dipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Up and inside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. He missed on the steal, that's going to be the offensive game. Yes, sir, they got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Steals a pass. For two, Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, right? Very important. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. goes out of play. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance to win. Really Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block. And has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. It's a fast break possibility. He gets it to fall. Intercepted. Cross court. Full court pass. And that layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes it. That's a seven-zip run. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here's a flash from the high post. He shoots from outside. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. And the fans here are loving the action. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem. He rejects it. out of bounds. Working it around the perimeter. Steals the pass. the perimeter takes the pass in the paint the ball goes out of bounds on the dribble gives it up fakes the shot there they come with a double team to stop it Oh. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. North Carolina are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Picks off the lazy pass. On the outside. He tries the three ball. There was no doubt about that one. Definitely worth another look, Brad. look if he wants it he lets it fly number 22 is really turning some heads right now he's on fire they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple and a momentary look from three-point land he hits a bullseye again hey he's feeling it from everywhere baby Stolen. They push it up on the break. Tries for two. Drains the shot. Look at that spacing. Let's it fly. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Goes up for two. And in and out. Kicking back outside. Picked off. From the top of the circle, he bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. The shooting guard takes the pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He buries it. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. There's a double team waiting there. He puts up the three ball. Way off target. Defense giving some room. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Off the rim and no good. That was nice. He looks for three. Drains it. Picks off the pass. There's the fake. For the bucket. And he missed. Dump it inside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Daniel makes a great move 
And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Brooks handles the pass. Takes away the pass. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Makes the foul shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Gave it up. The point guard gets the pass. Sinks it. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Tries for two. Lays it in. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Got the high pick. The Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. The point guard gets the ball. Post flashes on the dribble, gives it up, kicks it out. He shoots from outside. He makes the shot. Take another look at that play. to pick up the defense here now. From three-point range, rims out. Wall pounded on his way up. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens.
He goes to the line for the first time. No doubt. The center is going crazy. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. There's the pick. There's the roll. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Gave it up. The point guard with the ball. Picked off. They work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. The point guard takes the feed. He takes the three. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For two. Doesn't go. Great defense. Look at that spacing. There's a high screen. He makes the block. And the ball goes out of play. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Throws it up. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Hey, they do, Brad. That was another great play by that young man. He has that sense, that basketball sense, which a lot of players are missing. Makes the shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The ball goes out of play. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. With a deep shot from outside. He hits the shot. Dick's six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the outside. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. It's good. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He makes his second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. might see 
a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Too much. That's a foul. Shot clock is dead. Put the screen up on top. From a different area code. Buried it. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He goes to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He hits his second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He lets it go. He gets it to fall. And yet another foul. He goes to the free throw line. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gets the second. They really need a score here to turn this into a two possession game. after that timeout, Dick. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. They have to foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Second shot is good. All you need is a score and a stop to have a chance. to start things up again. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. They will line him up. Gets the first shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Second one is good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. about ready for play to resume. They get that rejected. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, you look back, it was a great matchup. We expected it to be, and it turned out to be everything we'd hoped for. I'll tell you one thing, the team has really responded as a unit, and they've taken advantage of the abilities of their stars. North Carolina takes the victory, but it was close. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.